It's no surprise that police activity in downtown Toms River has dwindled in the weeks and months following the closure of the Red Carpet Inn in the fall of last year. The crime-ridden hotel has seen police here over 750 times since 2015, primarily for narcotics, weapons, and theft-related offenses. Well, today is the beginning of the end, as by the end of this month, the eyesore will be no more, as the hotel will be knocked to the ground as part of Toms River's redevelopment project. Since the inn was shut down, the number of incidents reported by Tom's River Police for the area around the motel showed a noticeable decline. It's the people that come and frequent the place. They're, they're, they're living here hourly, daily, whatever. They weren't here for any good reason other than to commit crimes, to do drugs, prostitution, whatever they were doing here. Uh, so just the fact of this closing helped our crime rate downtown. So we did a study two months prior to its closing and then compared it to two months after, and we saw a 92% decrease in just disorderly person's offenses alone. Any time of day, you could walk down here and you can actually see the people that were actually coming from this hotel. And I always called it like an incubator for crime. They all congregated here and they all emanated from here. And then from there, we had a lot of our issues. In November 2017, Tom's River Police filed a public nuisance charge against the Red Carpet Inn for knowingly conducting or maintaining a premise where unlawful activity takes place by creating conditions that endanger the public's health or safety. We got called a lot from other businesses or residents that they're, they're seeing suspicious activity. It could be on view from our officers, our narcotics officers. We're getting information and actually following up with that, and it all led them back to here. Uh, there were people from other towns that were actually staying here. I mean, literally towns next door to us, and they're staying here. Why? There's really no reason. It's not a vacation spot, you know, so something's going on. So, but yeah, since it closed, uh, things have been so much better. Last year, the town council authorized a bond ordinance for $4.8 million for the purchase and rehabilitation of the Red Carpet Inn. Great things are going to happen. This is just the first project that's going to happen. And when this is done, we have other projects that are uh, in, in the works uh, up the hill by the first aid squad, and then we'll take it from there. The thing that will go on in this spot will be the construction uh, of a multi-unit uh, uh, apartment house with uh, uh, approximately 400 units. Uh, what the landlord is looking to do is to attract um, millennials and empty nesters, and uh, hopefully that's going to be very effective. After the red carpet in is all torn down, the next part of the Toms River Redevelopment Project can continue. This is the first concrete step toward downtown redevelopment. We, you know, we passed the uh, redevelopment ordinance area near need of redevelopment back in December of 2017. We started the enabling ordinances 2018. We bought the motel in 2018. We signed the contracts. And this is the first concrete step toward the downtown redevelopment. So we're hoping it's going to kick it off. This is going to be jump-starting it. We've got the project uh, that will go up on top of Iron Street. We've got an RFP from a company that's going to develop uh, 160 units first in a first phase, Meridian Overlook, and then uh, downtown in this area, Meridian uh, River Riverfront, which will be about 300. But they're going to be staged, so we're going to see how they go. The demolition of the hotel is the first phase in a redevelopment plan for downtown Toms River that will include road upgrades, constructing a parking deck, a berm, apartments, retail space, and more. In downtown Toms River, I'm Vin Ebenu for the Town Square News Network.